aiming fucking flame. Sand and fog inspired on the California fucking coast. California. Welcome back to another edition of The Way of the Daniel. The date is April 13th. The time is 11.01 a.m. And we're currently listening on loop to a song called Aurora Full Tilt. And the reason is it came up this morning and it goes very much alongside the fucking energies that have been coming in like fucking last night that fucking wrecked us and destroyed us. But maybe we're getting a better handle on it now. Who fucking knows? Because this shit just repeats like fucking bullshit consistently anyway. So you never know if we're getting a fucking handle on it or you'll get side swiped by a goddamn semi truck again. So doing a little better from last night although we did have coffee at our breakfast this morning and we have been wanting to distance and get further away from the coffee and the getting off the caffeine also leads to depressive type symptoms so who knows if that could have been part of it anyways we're not here to digest and think about the bullshit of last night we are here we are here to do what we can to not repeat fucking bullshit like that and i don't mean the video the video was good shit i mean the whole fucking bullshit shit show fucking goddamn piece of shit energies so here we are at the way of the daniel and this today's topic is titled keep the ball rolling keep the ball where's my goddamn ball my newest fucking ball so happy about this ball got it out of the hot springs river in thermopolis wyoming it's a fucking softball thought it was a tennis ball from viewing it from the bridge but no it's a softball and it's fucking amazing love that shit keep the ball rolling that i will go into but first let's start off with a recap last video was kind of fun did it as an interlude not necessarily as a motivational video by any means but an interlude it's one way of hey when energies are overwhelming yes you gotta fucking express that shit and b you know what let's fucking express it to an audience to get further comfortable being okay with expressing ourselves in semi-public viewing setting whatever things of that nature that continued battle but today before i get into the astrological transits i want to mention the target audience and the target audience for these videos as a reminder to myself is the target audience is people who i would care about people who i would care about people who would care about me and groupies I always got to include the fucking groupies because that's fantastic i also wanted to add as an afterthought anyone who would be interested in throwing money our direction or people like managers or 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 headhunters that would bring us to the fucking top yeah let's include them in the target audience as well but for any doubters, haters, critics, may all of these words just fall on your fucking deaf ears and eat shit with your fucking judgments, of course, always. So astrological transit, sun's at 23 degrees Aries, moon's at 11 degrees Taurus. Maybe, again, this is why it's kind of bullshit that we had a preview of things to come is that moon crossed fucking Uranus at 9 degrees Taurus. People sometimes love Uranus, but I don't fucking like Uranus much at all. It's that I blame Uranus for a lot of the bullshit of like force you to do something. And I'm just like, God damn, what? What? So we got Mercury at 18 degrees Aries, Venus at 28 degrees Aries. Still a lot of this Aries shit going on, which is why, why this 
big theme of keep the ball rolling and i'm gonna gonna touch back on this some more so all of this aries shit going aries don't like to fucking think the thinking is not going what is going is the doing just have to do 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 so i'll get here on my whiteboard one of the things to bring about is make some plans so you don't have to think about what you're gonna do it's really good to have shit so you don't have to sit there and debate and think about what the fuck you're gonna do because that will just fuck you up so three to four basic plans and we're talking things that could be to your benefit or slightly interesting they don't have to be amazing or whatever the fuck but three to four basic plans to do and then do them plan them and then do them it's it's not you can't have a whole lot of thought going on right now because this is fucking bullshit but you do need these plans because because I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'll come back to why you do need these fucking plans and why it's still good to act in this Aries season because you don't want to spend time thinking about shit. This is not the fucking time to think about shit. We got target audience. A fucking battle. Yeah, that's that was where I also mentioned last night. And that's where this this sound of Aurora full tilt comes in. It's a fucking battle. And and a lot of the shit show of these energies that comes up is because you're not in that battle mode and mentality. How to get into that battle mode and mentality, I don't fucking know. But it is a fucking battle. And because because shit like last night is unacceptable it's unfucking acceptable you know a lot a lot of people are in this idea of like oh there's good times and there's bad and it's ups and it's downs and i'm like that is such horse shit that is such fucking horse shit especially if like you know your your ups are like and your downs are like <laughs> like how is that fucking acceptable no that's why it's a fucking battle because we don't tolerate that bullshit but um and i also wanted to say maybe maybe we made a big fucking mistake to motivate in our last video to care more yeah, let's go care more, because that'll fucking wreck you. Everyone knows that shit. The more you care, the more you're going to get fucking wrecked. But here's here's where you get fucked anyways, is because to not care, to not care, and this is, it goes back, I watched a little video about James Bond, and as much as I love James Bond, one of the first things I realized is, like, I can't just epitomize him because he looks like a cold-hearted bastard, and I don't want to be a cold-hearted bastard. And so, you get fucking wrecked, apparently, from caring. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe we won't. But to not care, uh, pretty much makes it a waste of a fucking life like you can try that not caring shit but you're just gonna waste your fucking life away you know so so you got your feelings hurt so you got your heart hurt whatever and yeah go for that not caring shit but it's ultimately gonna be a, a waste of a fucking life and so i guess that's that's a, that's a trade-off and um going back to jordan peterson he gives a really really great uh, speech about nihilism and having things just be meaningless and then it's like really really uh alluring it's really powerful of uh of a draw but he's like the trade-off is that you just you live a meaningless life and and that that shit you know it's not going to last for a while and you know where where it leads is to those people on their deathbeds uh whining about their life being a fucking waste and suddenly having an epiphany of like oh oh i was supposed to live okay so so yeah but 
But oh, one thing I wanted to add about this mistake about caring more, which is not necessarily a mistake, but it would be important. It would be important to to have to care about blank, to have something in that blank. Care more about blank, something inserted in that blank. Let's not just care more in general, so that we get fucking wrecked. Um, and the uh, wrecking also, to be completely honest, could have come also from a cigar I had in the morning. One fucking cigar. But I have noticed in the past that when you when you indulge in either the the nicotine or the tobacco poisons, one or the other, not sure which. But there is uh, often it can be followed by this like rough cleansing period filled with tears. So that could also honestly be a part of that bullshit. But it is still fucking bullshit. So back to oh, before we go on to this, this uh, we're almost out of time, but we're we're almost there at the end too. So keep the ball keep the ball fucking rolling when i say keep the ball rolling yes we're not sitting still we're moving along but we're not fucking rushing because and this basic basic three to four plans so you don't have to think about what you're doing and you just have to go along the plans because one astrologer that i uh, semi respect because he sometimes knows what he's talking about. He gave the warning that in a few days, like he said 10 days, but this is a few days later. So it puts us at about the 18th or 19th April. He is calling for what is coming up is, he calls it unstable season, where he said people will start to look like they're running around like chickens with their fucking heads cut off. And so especially the energies that I'm working with right now is a seemingly sense of getting prepared for that shit. One way in the way of the Daniels, we're always a couple steps fucking ahead of people. Like when fucking COVID hit, it was just like, ha 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 ha, have fun everyone one who who like found life to be not as predictable as they thought it was because we're we're fucking old hats at that shit so COVID didn't didn't touch us at all fucking it was it's like slightly annoying especially when the governors thought they can just control a population but we're not going to get into politics because that's that's the stuff we're going to try to stay out of in the way of the Daniel. We try to focus on what we're doing and, and only only mention what we're doing as a, as a only mention the the outside shit as a way of of how we're going to maneuver in ourselves. So caring, caring and the fight. We don't want just like oh, fight to tackle these fucking bullshit energies we're experiencing. But the Goonies, the Goonies and caring and magic of the 80s is definitely a source of, of therapy and a focus and attention. So care like the Goonies would care. That seems that seems safe right now. Care like the Goonies would care. And we can stick with that. So definitely a uh, few days coming up, 18th, 19th, watch out for that shit. Do what preparations you can now to prepare for what this astrologer calls unstable season. You're going to have the sun, Mercury, Venus, all this shit sweeping over Uranus and Taurus and that's all cause for what he's saying is crazy stability and people run around with chickens chickens heads fucking cut off so watch out for that shit and the way we are watching out for it now is keep the ball rolling not rushing but you just keep moving aries style three to four basic plans then you fucking move and go do you move and you go do not a lot of fucking thought thought is in small segments small segments goonies fucking 80s 80s magic goonies and we fit it all in 15 minutes see you later oh